Hello guys, welcome to Deep Course. And in today's video, we will discuss eight core question one zero three. That says binary tree zigzag level order traversal. So here you are given the root of the binary tree, and you need to traverse in a zigzag zigzag level order traversal. So the, what does the question says is see first notice on this level order traversal. That means level by level. So what is level order traversal? It is breadth first search. Okay, that in breadth first search, what we do? We go to level one, then level two, then level three. Okay. So we traverse each uh, nodes of a tree in a level order. So that is breadth first search, and we just need to do a zigzag level order traversal. That is zigzag means first from left to right, and then from right to left for the next level. So this alternate uh, patterns we need to make of left to right and right to left. So if you take a look at this example, so initially the level one you have three. So we uh, push a uh, vector three into this vector of vectors. Then we have nine and ten. But here we travel from left to right. So at the second level we travel from right to left. So twenty comma nine, as you can see here. Then fifteen comma seven again left to right. So here we have only one root, and here we have empty roots, and we will return empty. So if you have something like this, then at uh, at at the first level we travel from left to right, and uh, our vector will be zero, only zero. Here we travel from right to left, so our uh, answer would be two comma one. Again left to right. So here the answer would be three comma four comma five, and again right to left. So our answer would be ten comma nine comma seven comma six comma eight, and or adding all these to one answer, that is one vector of vectors would be our answer. Simple as it is. At one time we are traversing from left to right, another right to left. So yeah, the things are clear here. That since this is a labor order traversal, so we will use B B F S. So bread bread first search is what. It is just uh, using of queue data structure and storing elements in it. Now, in order to travel from left to right and then right to left, what we will do? We will give something like count like this. So, if let's say uh, let us initialize one level. So, if uh, uh, so, let us uh, name this as level zero, level one, level two, and level three. So, as you guys can see here, that we are reversing. See, originally the breadth search is what zero, then one comma two. Then three, four, five, then eight, six, seven, nine, ten. This is original breadth first search, but when we are here, what we are doing is we are reversing some of this. So we are reversing this, and we are reversing this. So every alternate time, by doing breadth first search, we will reverse our vector. See, the one would be one vector of vector that is the answer vector, and these are the intermediate vectors. So let's say level vector. So whenever uh. Uh, we have found means at one uh, at one we won't do anything and the next level vector we just it we would what we would simply reverse here reverse and if there would be something here then not to reverse and if and after that the next alternate would be reverse okay so we will skip one vector and reverse the another vector simple as it is so if you find a bit complex or confusing here then you will get surely clear once I will show you the code. So I hope these are clear now that we can only do DFS. DFS won't work here because DFS is what depth first search. So we travel from zero to eight in a depth, and we are not traversing in a level order. So that's why DFS don't work and only breadth first search works. Correct. So now let's move on to the coding part where I will explain you more in detail. So here first we initialize our vector vector answer, and then we then this is a base condition that if a root is null, then we directly return the answer. Uh, as null means currently the answer is null, and we need to return that only. Then we took a queue uh, of a type tree node and push the root. Okay. Now here we are taking this intermediary vector temp to store all the nodes at a current level. So to travels all the nodes of a current level, what we are simply doing we are uh, for all the nodes currently present in this queue we are traversing left and right shell of the current nodes and storing it into this temp. So as you can see here, that we are storing all the Nodes of the queue in the temp and all the children of uh, this queue into this queue again. So let me take an example and show you that uh, how this BFS is working here. So let's say here uh, you have something simple like this: zero, one, two, and let me take three and four. Okay. So assume that you have this uh, tree right now, and let me name it as here one queue, here this temp vector. Okay, so initially, what is Q? Q has only root element. Yeah, correct. Now, uh, also let me name it as child. So, what are the childrens of Q? See, 
uh, with here uh, the queue has only root element now here we are taking this current or the, from the front of the queue and storing it value in this time so now the time will contain zero at this stage now we are checking for the left and right chair and pushing it in the queue if they are not null so this statement check if they are null or not so yeah this one and two are not null so we have children one comma two and these are now pushed well these children are pushed to the queue correct now the queue has one comma two okay now this this and loop ends because we have only one element with towers that now what now we have one comma two in the queue so the size would be what size would be two okay now what would be the time here time would be one from the front of the queue so yeah we check for the children the children is three uh and four okay now again that is the for loop right and we check for two okay two has any children no so we don't push anything to the queue right so now this one comma two is what uh, so currently the answer only contains this zero so whenever so at that time what we do we simply reverse means at one time we are reversing so we reverse one comma two to two comma one here correct as it is see here we also had one answer variable at this point we at the last we store zero now before storing one comma two we simply reverse it simple as it is and then we store zero and another is two comma one means before storing our eight into the answer we are simply reversing this time correct and the next loop what is remaining in this queue three comma four is remaining so we uh push three to this time does it have any children no then we push four to this to this time does it have any children no and do we need to reverse it no so that's why we simply push uh it to our answer zero two comma one and three comma four so simple as it is so i hope you guys understood the solution of this red first search how this bfs is working it is by level by level from first from left to right right to left and left to right and we are achieving that by just simply reversing this temporary or we can say uh, this intermediary vector okay so i hope you guys understood this now talking about the time and space complexity since we are traversing all the n nodes okay so our time complexity here would be big of n time complexity would be big of n and also talking about the space complexity it would be the number of nodes at a level correct how many level nodes are present at a level and in the worst worst case it can be nearly equal to big of n so yeah we can say that space complexity is also almost big of n so yeah, that's for the time and space complexity so yeah that's all for this video i hope you guys understood this video the question and the intuition and also the approach and if you have still any doubts then do let me know in the comment section make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you